back to the Mookie Chilson channel and you are looking live at another cue card. This is an outline, a rundown of what we're going to talk about in the order in which we're going to talk about it. And this is a very special printer ink edition here at Mookie Chilson World Headquarters um, that begins with a VR for Dan from Old Sarge Collects who's got a two team challenge that we're gonna talk about. I'm warning you now, this is a trigger warning. Some of you may not enjoy this two team challenge from your pal Mookie. Um, there is a PC pickup from Jason over at Mr. Fisherbike. Um, he held a sale on his channel a few weeks ago and I picked up an amazing card for my PC. I'll explain to you. There has been an art heist from Ohio to New Jersey. Scott from Ranger Studios uh, created an incredible image. It is now at Mookie Chilson World Headquarters and I will debut it here. Um, and then finally, there's a deadline deal. Joe from Four Soft Corners. We had a four collectors trade night negotiation that strung out weeks and weeks, but we finally got a deal done before the deadline. I'm gonna open his package live on tape for you, and it's gonna be fantastic, I think, and <laughs> I hope, I know. Um, but let's begin with the VR from Dan from Forza, from, uh, not Forza, Dan from uh, Old Sarge Collects, um, and his call for us to list our two favorite teams. Now asking me, what my two favorite teams are is like asking the earth what its two favorite stars are. There is the sun, which the earth is gravitationally connected to and rotates around and derives all life from. And then there is every other star in the galaxy that you can see with your eyes like a pinprick in the sky. Um, but I think I've come up with something. So let me uh, start off with my Metsies, of course. Speaking of big round orbs, uh, there's Mr. Met and his COVID gear. You got my man Mookie and his autograph. You got some great Mets Hall of Famers like Duke Snyder um, and Nolan Ryan. Of course, you've got um, Tommy Terrific. You've got um, non Hall of Famers like Dr. K, who was my boyhood hero. Uh, you got uh, David Wright, Captain America, who I, I wish uh, had made the Hall of Fame. <laughs> but we do have Hall of Famers. We got uh, the kid, Gary Carter, great New York Mets catcher. Um, you got Joe Torre, who's a great Mets manager and great Mets third baseman. Um, an original Met and Hall of Famer, Mets Hall of Famer, Richie Ashburn. Um, we have pitching. One of the greatest pitchers of all time was a great Mets Hall of Famer in Pedro Martinez. Can you see him there? There he is smiling. Um, we've got lefties, um, the great Mets Hall of Fame pitcher, uh, Tom Glavin. We've got switch hitters, the great Mets Hall of Famer, Eddie Murray, slugging first baseman. How about the greatest first uh, uh, leadoff hitter of all time in Ricky Henderson, a great New York Mets Hall of Famer. Um, we've got the great uh, Second baseman, uh, switch hitting, New York Mets Hall of Famer, Roberto Alomar, one of the greatest hitting catchers of all time. How about Mike Piazza, Mets Hall of Famer? Speaking of lefties, one of the greatest left-handed pitchers of all time is a New York Mets Hall of Famer, Warren Spahn. I bet we love that. Casey Stengel, a great manager. Number 37 for the Mets will never be worn again. He's a Mets Hall of Famer. Um, and then you got uh, what did I say about catchers? Look at this. Um, Yogi Berra, a great Mets Hall of Famer. Maybe the greatest player of all time is in the Hall of Fame. Um, and he's a New York Met, Willie Mays. And then we also have future Hall of Famers, which I know all of you um, are holding your breath for. So who's the second team? <laughs> well, if you're a Mets fan, you definitely have a soft spot for these guys. Um, and I particularly have a soft spot for these guys because they are the lovable losers um, who never got it done. They were cursed after 86. And so when they um, started getting good again in like the, the 2000s and rivaling the Yankees, my brother's, my little brother's favorite team is the New York Yankees. Um, I would root for the Red Sox against the Yankees because, you know, sibling rivalry, etc. And so in 2004, I made a bet with my brother that the Red Sox would beat the New York Yankees in the ALCS. And the bet was the winner had to treat the other guy to a dinner at Olive Garden for free, all you can eat <laughs> breadsticks and salad. And it sure looked like I was gonna be paying the check. 
because the Yankees went up three to nothing. My brother was taunting me and he was very happy and he's the little brother and so he loves to get anything he can over on his big brother. Um, but it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> the Yankees let it slip away in an excruciating four game run by the Red Sox who went on to break the curse of the Bambino, go on and win the World Series. And my man Pedro was one of the stars of that team, future Mets Hall of Famer. And so that's my second team. Uh, old Sarge. <laughs> and I hope that qualifies. Um, anyway, let's move on to the PC pickup from Jason, Mr. Fisherbike, who was holding a sale on his YouTube channel a few weeks ago, and he had a card. Look at this coaster I got from him. I was so psyched. I love seeing these. Um, and I got that and a keychain from him. But I also got, even more importantly, this card, an autographed 2020 Stadium Club Jacob deGrom card. Um, and I know this picture was taken in 2019 for several reasons. Number one, it has the Chick-fil-A foul pole that was very controversial over at City Field. Um, delicious chicken. Um, I'm not sure the obstruction <laughs> of the view was appreciated. And so it was there for, I think, just one year. But this game, what I didn't realize until I looked into this more deeply, Jason, is a Sunday afternoon game against the Nationals. Um, the Mets um, lost this game six to five. This could only be that game. And I was at that game. I didn't realize it until I started looking into this card more closely because I had just gotten it from you. I was at this game. The Mets lost. Jacob deGrom <laughs> pitched well, but he was betrayed by his defense, um, as was so often. He still um, ended up making the uh, winning the Cy Young that year. And so it's a super cool card and a great addition to my PC. So thank you to Jason, Mr. Fisherbike, for making that deal with me. And now let's move on to the art heist uh, from Ohio to New Jersey. Scott from Reindeer Studios contacted me. Uh, he's doing this countdown to opening day where he's drawing a player from each team um, and then selling the, 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 the art piece um, on his Etsy shop. And so he texted me at one point and said, who do you think, who would be the Mets guy? I said, well, it's got to be Pete Alonso. Um, he's, there's a big swell of enthusiasm for Pete in New York City. The Mets are really hope, Mets fans are really hoping they re-sign him. And so Scott said, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so then he, he drew it. And this is what he ended up making. Now, when Scott asked me for my advice as a Mets fan, uh, which player to draw, um, I didn't want to make any assumptions that this would be made available to me. I was waiting for this to hit the Etsy store, um, and I, I didn't want any advantage on buying this, this artwork, but I knew I was going to buy this artwork. And so when it got there, uh, Scott let me know that it was, uh, it was going up for sale. I said, yep, I'm going to buy it, <laughs> and I bought it. And Scott uh, sent it to me right away, um, and he also sent me... Where's the card? A note. Where's my note? There it is. Mookie, thank you for being so awesome and supportive. I'm sure you'll give Pete a good home. Keep being a superstar. Your bestie, Scott. And there's an asterisk up there. I'm sure you'll, um, and by you'll, he means me and son of Mookie. Now, this will go to son of Mookie, who is um, maybe the biggest Pete Alonzo fan in the tri-state area. <laughs> <laughs> so, son of Mookie is getting uh, this uh, item from Scott. He also included, by the way, this nifty 1988 Don Ross inspired uh, Pete Alonzo card with the, with the, I mean, could you get any cooler? Um, so I'm so thrilled to have actual Reindeer Studios artwork to hang in the Mookie Chilson World Headquarters. Thank you, Scott. Super cool, super amazing, and super appreciated. And finally, we're going to get to the deadline deal. Joe from Four Soft Corners, he showed off a card on a trade night at Four Collectors, and immediately I knew I had to make a deal for that card. The negotiations were long and drawn out. Um, he has sent me this package. I sent him some cards, which you can see him open on his channel. He made a video of it. This is my video opening his package. Um, I did send him a, a uh, PSA uh, P 
piece of cardboard <laughs> for soft corners. You buy it, we spy it. <laughs> I like that. Um, he sent this back to me. I sent this to him. He sent this back to me. Four soft corners. Four soft corners. Very cool. Um, and there is a note in here that I will read. And it reads, Thank you, Mookie. Enjoy. Joe, four soft corners. Look at that. Highly legible. Highly appreciated. And now, let me see if I can open this. I'm going to pull this apart here on camera. And he, is a, he has sent extras, which he did not need to do. And here they are. And, well, he knows who he's sending cards to. I will give him that. There is a Ron Hunt SP Authentic right on the top there. Ron Hunt, of course, was an early Met. Um, one of the guys who um, I think at one point may still own, no, maybe Craig Biggio took it over, the hit-by-pitch all-time <laughs> career leader at one point, Ron Hunt. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this. There's Tug McGraw and Gary Carter, Dream Team, Sunoco Dream Team. That is so cool. Hometown Heroes. Look at this. Mookie Wilson. I have never seen this card before. This is so cool. And Dr. K. Oh, Joe knows his. There's Daryl. Joe knows who he's <laughs> sending to. And Johnny Franco. Go, Johnny, go. That is so cool. There's Johan Santana, the man who threw the first no-hitter and, and only no-hit. Well, no, second. There's been another. There's a combined no-hitter last uh, two years ago. Um, but Johan, uh, one of the great Mets lefties of all time, just like Warren Spahn and Tom Glavin. The kid, Gary Cart. Look at that. Freaking great image. I love that racing stripe down the leg. And there is Tom Terrific. Look at that. These are beautiful cards, Gypsy Queens. Look at this, Allen and Ginter. Now this is, I think, probably 1990. You can tell the Mets changed the front of their jerseys quite a lot. And that's probably 89 or 90. That is a beautiful image of the doctor. I do not have that, and that will go in. There he is, Gypsy Queen no hitter. Uh, Johan Santana, very beautiful. Jose Reyes. <laughs> <laughs> One of the great shortstops in Mets history, uh, playing for his um, national Dominican team. Beautiful at the world. Oh, look at this. Now wait just a minute. Hold on just a second. Here is your 1970 Tops World Champion New York Mets team photo. Dare I say, could this be pinhole? I think I'm going to have to have further investigation here. Do we think? Joe, I need a forensic analysis on this. Oh, there is some. There could be daylight there. I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to get the micron microscope out and look into this. This is super cool, Joe. Holy mackerel. I do not have this card. What a great gift. That was not part of the deal. That is extra stuff from Joe, four soft corners. But what was in the deal? It was this beauty. A 1952 Burke Ross Mini Minoso card that um, Joe was offering on the four collectors trade night because um, he threw it out there and I think he thought I might be interested. Because look, you can see the pinhole back there. Um, this is a beautiful card that I just love. I do not have any Burke Ross cards. This is the first one I ever had. This will go up on the pinhole Holy Grail Wall of Fame. I may do it in the um, in the um, penny sleeve. I probably won't if I don't see daylight in the pinhole. I don't like to recreate the daylight, so this may go up in the penny sleeve, but this is a freaking banger of a card. I just love it, and I'm so happy to have it from Joe. 
over at Four Soft Corners. And the consummation of this deal is complete with some super cool extras that I love. Thank you to Joe. Thank you to all of you for watching and enduring my nonsense. Um, thank you to the Mets uh, for being the planet, uh, the star that this planet um, revolves around. And um, I think that's it. How about this? Hold on a second. Let's move that. This is what you get when I don't have an ending to stick the landing on. How about that? What am I missing? I think that's it. Put Pedro up there. Are you triggered, Greg? <laughs> that's it. The end of the episode. I appreciate all of your endurance and watching, and have a great day. Thank you.